Uh, I'm having overheat issues when crashing my drone out in the Aussie heat. Is there anything I can do to keep it cool while I retrieve it? Okay, there is a couple of different things. Some you can probably do hardware, hardware side and others you can probably do on a software side. So the first thing you can do is what part is overheating? And if I had to guess, I would say it is your VTX. So what you can do, VTX gets very, very hot. Like if you ever have to do an update and especially on digital, if you ever have to update, have a little fan. I put mine under the air con, which is right up there when I'm updating it on this computer. Um, you need to try to keep it as cool as possible. And if you crash a long way away and your drone is just cooking uh, in the sun, it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be in the Aussie heat. This could be anywhere. This could just be indoors. And I would guess even in some cold places, it's still very, very possible to overheat your VTX. So if you are flying around on analog and you crash your drone and you're worried about it overheating, what you like a, a radio link to your drone, you can set it so you can turn your radio off on a switch and like put it into, uh, turn your VTX off on a switch. So put it into pit mode or something that will reduce the output of it that will significantly cool it down. Yeah, if you crash it and it's analog, let me know. See if you can put it into pit mode. That would be my recommendation. Uh, low power, I, Johnny DRC is saying I use low power disarm. Yeah, so that's, that's some good options. If you are flying around and you are using digital, it can get a little bit more tricky. You might have some options depending on which one you're using through your headset. If you still have a connection to your drone, you might be able to put it into like power uh, safe, what is it called, like standby mode or something? I know on the walk snow, you can put things into standby mode. Or if you are really worried about it, something that we did in this video, uh, when we built this car right here, because it's not flying through the air all the time, it's not uh, the DeLorean. So Stickman Steve, this has digital in here. And I'm seeing if I can get a real close up maybe, but what Steve had actually done is he had a little fan that he bought. I think he got it off like AliExpress or something. It had the same mounting holes and it was powered off like a five volt Beck or something, or maybe it was three point. It was a very, very low voltage little fan, but that was enough just to go all the time that the VTX didn't get hot at all. So if you can get some airflow over it, even after you crash your drone, if you're using an external like little fan or something that sort of will that is inbuilt in there you can go it can go pretty well or the last option something like the gt cam from um walk snail it actually has an inbuilt can inbuilt fan so you can see right here on oh, my face is my face is in the way, but um, yeah, you can also get some digital options. I know at least on the walk snail where it doesn't matter. Um, this is never going to overheat. I've left this drone plugged in. I think when I did my nomad testing, I used this camera and it's been plugged in for a long time, just sitting there. The fan keeps it perfectly cool, which it kind of needs to because this can go up to like three Watts or something, I believe on the, on the digital side of things.